All right, today we are going to look at what happens when you have two verbs that come right next together. So this is called dos verbos juntos, two verbs together. So when two verbs come together in a sentence for now in Spanish one, you're gonna conjugate the first verb. And we know by conjugate, that means you're either gonna drop the AR, the ER, or the IR, and then you're gonna add your appropriate ending. So you'll do that for verb number one. And you're going to leave the second verb alone. You're not going to do anything to it. You're just going to leave the ER, uh, I'm sorry, the AR, ER, or IR attached. So we have talked about necesitar before. We know that means to need. And we know how to conjugate necesitar. It's a regular AR verb. So I get, whoops, necesito. Let's see if I can just copy and paste this. I'm going to be really lazy. I'm going to get necessite, necessite, necessite. Ah, oh, this one had to fall down here. Let me pull this up here. Okay, there we go. So necessito, of course, would be I need. Necesitas, you informal need. El necesita, ella necesita, usted necesita. He or she needs. Necesitamos, we need. And necesitan, you all or they need. So we use this verb a lot when we have two verbs together. Let me see if this is my first example. It is. Let me continue to pull that up a little bit. Okay, so here we go. I need to study. So I'm going to take necesitar and I'm going to conjugate it. Necesito in the yo form. That's my first verb. So I dropped the AR and I added the ending and I got necesito. To study is estudiar. Now, I'm going to leave estudiar alone. I'm not going to make it estudio because that would mean I need I study and that wouldn't make sense. So necesito estudiar and then in la biblioteca in the library. So when you have two verbs together, we're going to conjugate verb one, which we did, necesito. And then we're going to leave verb two alone, which we did. Now we're going to go down and do number three because it's still about necesitar. So here we go. The girl needs to play the piano. For the girl, I would have la chica. You could use la niña, la muchacha. The correct form of necesitar is necesita, she needs. To play is tocar. So here I go. I had verb number one where I took necesitar. I dropped the AR and added the correct endings. And then I had verb number two that I just left alone. I don't want to conjugate this and make it tocamos because then it would say, or I'm sorry, toca, because then it would say the girl necesita, she needs. And if you make this toca, it would be she plays. And it doesn't make sense to say she needs, she plays. You just want to say she needs to play. And then the piano would be el piano. All right. So let's go up and pull this next verb. We looked at this verb last time in notes. We know that querer means to want. It can also mean to like or to love. It's an irregular verb. I have to add in that I. So I get quiero, quieres, quiere. Nosotros was the regular form where I don't add in the I. It's just queremos. And right here I have quieren. So you can go through and fill this out if you want. Quiero, I want. Quieres, you want. Quiere, he or she wants. Or usted quiere, you want. Queremos right here would be we want, and ustedes ellos y ellas quieren, you all, or they want. So this is also used oftentimes in conjunction with a second verb, like I want to eat out today, or she wants to sleep in class. So let's look at it. The man wants to play video games. The man is el hombre. So right here for to want, I would use quiere. To play here, I'm going to use jugar in los video juegos. So el hombre quiere jugar. Here we have verb one conjugated, verb two left alone. And then the last one we're going to look at today, you don't want to walk in the park. So I'm going to start with a no. Then I'm going to go right here with quieres, conjugated for a verb one, caminar, to walk. And then in the park is in el, if I could spell it right, Mm -hmm. Parque. So the moral of the story today, when you have two verbs together, they come right next to each other. You will conjugate verb one. You'll drop that ending or drop the AR, ER, and IR, and then add the appropriate ending. And then you will leave verbal dose verb two alone.